Hey everybody, it's Friday and I'm back and I'm trying to get this out of the way, but it's not going out of the way. <laughs> That's what I put my, my phone in when I turn it around. Anyway, hello, happy new year. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and new year break. I am a little off my game. I feel like I've forgotten a few things and I'm a little couple minutes late, but I'm here. <laughs> Happy Friday. Yes, it's a good Friday. Good to see you guys. Um, you can probably hear my printer. I forgot to print out the all-star tutorial bundle because usually I show it to you guys and I forgot. And so that's kind of what I've been doing the last five minutes. And I put it on draft, you know, so it would print fast and it's printing slower than it has ever printed before. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to stop it here in a second, but anyways, it's so good to see you guys. Okay. So today all new products, rainbow of happiness. This you guys have seen because, um, this month's club create features this. And usually I don't do a product both for club create and Facebook Friday or a class in Facebook Friday, but I love this bundle so much that I'm doing both this time, Club Create and Facebook Friday. Um, not only do I love the bundle, but I absolutely love the celebration paper. It's so cute, so we're gonna play with that. It's bright, it's cheery, it's happy. It's um, fun to play with this kind of stuff after many months of Christmas. <laughs> I feel like we do Christmas for a really, really long time. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Um, there we go. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, now now do you hear it? That's bizarre. It's like Speed Demon now. Anyways, okay, I think I'm in the right place. Let me open it up so I can see your comments. Pepper's annoying me, but I'm going to ignore her. Okay, let me stop that because I think that's what's distracting me. Um, anyhow, all right, I will tell you about that in a second. One thing I want to tell you guys about... I posted about it this morning, Stampin' Up! sent out an email this morning that the Valentine Paper Pumpkin um, is running late. They've, I don't think they've ever done that before. It's running late um, because of supply chain issues. Some of the components that go in the kit are not in the warehouse yet. So they say that it's gonna be, um, it's gonna ship closer to the end of the month, but that it should be to you in time to use for Valentine's Day. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Um, that prompted me also not to buy a whole lot of extras because once I get them, from if you need it for me to, to mail it from me to you, it's not, it probably wouldn't get there in time. We'll see, maybe you if you, if I do have some extras, I don't know. We'll see. But if you really want this, make sure that you are subscribed. Okay. It's running late, running late. That They also said they're going to charge our credit card late too. You know, usually they charge right on the 11th. I think it's 11th, but this time it'll be a little bit later. So just a heads up on that. Speaking of paper pumpkin, um, December's kit is the, I haven't even opened it yet. I took the plastic off and that was it. It's the pun kit, and it's so stinking cute. Um, lots of pun paper pumpkin, and then I have extras. If you guys want it, message me. I have extras. Um, the stamp set is gigantic. Look, it has glasses and eyes and a mustache and a little speech bubble. That is a really, really good stamp set. So anyway, I have extras of those. It comes with an early espresso ink spot. Let me know if you'd like one. Okay, so there's that. Um, paper shares. So hopefully you guys have gotten your catalogs. I know some people were saying, I haven't heard from any of you. Well, no, I take that back. I have heard from a couple of you who hadn't gotten their catalog yet. Um, but I know a lot of you have. Um, Again, shipping delays. Stampin' Up! mailed them directly from Stampin' Up! So they go, you know, bulk mail, which is like slower than the regular mail. <laughs> so hopefully you have this. Um, I will post a link to the PDF um, today when the video is over so that you, if you don't have it, you can go look through it. Um, if you need one, if you don't think that I have, 
if you've ordered with me in the last year, I, I ordered you one. It should be mailed straight from Stampin' Up. If you haven't ordered from me and you don't have a demonstrator and you would like one of our brand new catalogs, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to send it to you. I'm going to send you the spring catalog, but I'm also going to send you celebration. So celebration has begun again. Um, it is the January to it, Jan, January 4th to February 28th, 2022. So it goes two months. Everything in here is free with an order for the purchase, either $50 or $100. And it's cumulative. So if your order was $200, you could pick out four level one items or two level two items. You, you know, you get to get something free for every $50. So that is that. Um, look in the back. Also, there are some other things. If you spend more than, oh, da, 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 I don't want to tell you wrong. More than $300, you also get this stamp set for free, okay? It says host, that's if you're hosting a class and your group of orders is over $300, but if you put in your own order and it just happens to be over $300, you're gonna get that for free also. And then, of course, they always have a fantastic starter kit special during celebration. This time is no different. Two extra stamp sets for free in your starter kit, it's $99. You pick out $125 in product, anything you want, in either um, the annual catalog, the spring catalog, or clearance rack, up to $125. Then you add in two more stamp sets of your choice, and it's $99. No shipping, just tax. So that is an amazing deal. I went and looked at our stamp sets online, and I sorted them to see what the most expensive ones were, because I always tell you guys, if I'm getting something for free, I'm going to choose the most expensive thing on the list. <laughs> Um, and potentially that could be up to $175, you know, $125 a product. And then I think there were two stamp sets that were close to $25. So you could get potentially up to $175 for only $99. And then you get a, a discount for at least the next three months. Actually, it's the next five months, um, which is your demo discount, and you get to be part of my team, which is awesome. Um, you get free PDFs, and you get my class kits at a discount if you're on my team. Anyhow, if you have questions about that, I'm showing you the back of the catalog. <laughs> if you have questions about that, please shoot me an email. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Okay, now, if you have your spring catalog, page 86 is where all of the new designer series papers are. We have eight eight of them. And then over here on this side, we've got new sparkle paper, new vellum paper, new mother of pearl paper. And I am doing a paper share, which means you'll get a little bit of each brand new paper. Um, either a six by six portion. Now these are old. You can see these were from the fall. This is what they look like. You'll either, you can either get six by six pieces or you can get six by 12. These are great for scrapbookers or for those of you that want just more than six by six. Um, you will, if you get the six by 12 option, you also get celebration paper in there as well. Um, let me see, what was I thinking? The prices, I have a whole post on it. There's a little link at the bottom of every blog post. You can go look. Um, I believe the 12 by six is 39 and the six by six is 27 plus shipping, which I'm using again, flat rate priority mail. I am not doing a ribbon share. Um, this is, this is the reason why there are one, two, three, four, five, six new packs of ribbon. Two of them are already unorderable. I believe two or one is about to be. So I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna, that's just it's gonna be chaotic, so I'm not gonna do that, but we're gonna do paper, okay? Um, I can't remember what I put this as the deadline for this. I think it's next week. I'm gonna work on it the second half of the month, get them out early February. So if you would like a little bit of all the new papers, that's the paper share, okay? Obviously, these are old papers. I just like to keep them so you can see what they look like when they come. All right, there's that. If you wanna register for that, send me an email. I can't list that link on, um, social media or my blog, um, but it is in every email that I send that I have sent in the last two weeks. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my email list, make sure that you do that. All right, the all-star tutorial bundle. This is what I was trying to print out 
<laughs> it's 60 pages, but something is going on with my printer and I only got the first page. This month, now this is confusing, okay? I hate when this happens, but I saw somebody said this morning that they like when this happens. I do the All Star Tutorial Bundle every month with 11 other demonstrators. We pick a suite of products in the catalog and we each design a project, film a video, and then one of us puts it all in a PDF. Um, and then we all offer it free. You get the whole PDF with the 12 video links, um, 12 projects. You get it free with every, every time you spend $50 that I didn't say that right. When you spend $50 in my online store, like when you put in an, an order that's over $50, I email you that PDF for free. Um, so this month we're doing the sweet talk suite, which is the Valentine stuff. <clears throat> At the same time, I have a class to go featuring the same stuff. <laughs> so sometimes it can be confusing when that happens. Um, but that just means I've got lots of Valentine projects for you this month. So this is the All Star Tutorial. It is just a PDF. There's no kit. If you shop with me, you're going to get it for free if you spend more than $50. If you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to order Stampin' Up! stuff from me. I have a subscription program for this where it gets delivered to your inbox on the first of every month. Um, that is open in January only. And when you subscribe, you get that six month for free. It's $15 a month. Um, and then that six month is free. So you can subscribe and pay monthly, or you can subscribe and pay the whole lump sum up at the front end. Um, and then I email them. I'm really good about emailing them out on the first every month. Um, and then um, I also have, we have already plugged in all the suites that we're going to do each month for the next six months. So if you want to look at that, if you want the details, um, pinkbuckaroo.com is my blog. Scroll down until you see where it says, we just did a blog hop on, was it yesterday or Wednesday? Maybe it was Wednesday. Lots of information on that post. Okay. There's that. All right. I think, oh, I didn't even show you my project this month in there. It's a little treat backpack. That's what my all-star tutorial project is, okay? I'm not supposed to show you. But there it is. Okay, now, I'm gonna flip you around because I wanna show you some things a little bit better, okay? I'm gonna turn you guys around. Um, today is the last day to subscribe to this month's Club Create. Club Create is my, um, you know, stamping club. Basically, you get a kit in the mail every month. Um, it is $39, that includes shipping. Uh, you get about $20 in product, and then you get five projects, a PDF and a video. Um, this month, it is featuring what we're using today for Facebook Friday, that rainbow of happiness. Today is the very last day to subscribe for this. Um, tomorrow I will place my order and I will start cutting, scoring, punching, doing all the things I need to do next week. And they usually ship around the 20th or the 21st. Okay. If you want to subscribe to this club create again, you have to do it by midnight tonight. Um, I will have the link here when we're done. You can also go to pinkbuckaroo.com and there is a tab at the top that says club create. Okay. I love this, this class, this Club Create Kit, it is one of my favorites. Something about these rainbows and the color schemes is just, I love it. Now, next month's Club Create, which subscription starts tomorrow. The subscription period is always, and I know it's weird, I should have set it up differently in the beginning. Subscription period is from the 8th to the 7th. So beginning January 8th, the subscription is for February's kit. Um, and this month, or February, next month, we're going to be using the Tulip Fields Bundle. This is so fun. I am in love with these windmills. I can't wait to show you what I picked for our 3D project to put in here. I did. I put in a lot of thought, picked something really fun um, that goes with it. Now, um, this Club Create kit features Tulip Fields. Um, you need the Tulip Fields Bundle. But there's an add-on. There weren't any words in here. So I used the coordinating flowering tulips, just the words. You can read about it tomorrow when I post about it, okay? Um, you can use any words you want, or you can add that onto your kit as well. But anyway, that subscription 
starts tomorrow. So if you want this, don't subscribe today because today is still the Rainbow Club, okay? This starts tomorrow. All right. I'm excited about that one too. The colors are awesome. I love the color schemes that Stampin' Up! puts together. Okay, my Valentine class. I had a couple of you ask me where my video was. I always do like a little commercial for it, you know, like a three or four minute video um, showing you and telling you all about it. And I hadn't done that this time because there's so many people in my house. <laughs> They're all here all day. Um, but actually, my, my younger two went back to school today. Uh, I mean, not today, this week on Monday. My older daughter is still home, but she's working. So today is very quiet. Nobody's here. I'm loving it. And I, I made that little commercial um, just about an hour ago, and I will have it up if you guys want to look at it. Um, but anyway, I can tell you right now, it is seven projects featuring that Sweet Conversations bundle. Um, it includes five 3D projects, two cards. You're going to get a pack of iridescent rhinestones and the linen, the red linen thread. Um, you're going to get a PDF. You can get it with the bundle. You can get it without the bundle. You need the bundle for the projects, um, but some of you may have already ordered it. Um, but So you can get the class kit with it, without it. You can also get just the PDF. That option is always available. And then my team also gets it at a discounted price. So again, pinkbuckaroo.com, there's a whole page that has all the details. Um, Go over there, read about it, email me for the registration link, or look back in the emails that I've sent this week and last week. It has the links to register. Um, the deadline on this is January 18th. I will have them in the mail the following week. You will have them um, before plenty of time for Valentine's Day. All right. Um, also, we're using those our new sweet... I, always, I can't even remember the name of them. No, not, yeah, sweet little boxes. They're like conversation boxes or like crayon boxes. They kind of look like crayon boxes. We're using three of those in here. Um, FYI, just thought you'd know. Just thought you'd like to know. Okay, let's see. I think I'm down to the end. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Um, somebody asked me way back here when my stamp set is coming out and it'll be ne the next spring catalog. I know it takes like two, it's a two year process, really. So it'll be this time next year, I'll be showing you my new stamp set. Thank you for asking. It's so cute. I can't wait for you to see it. All right. Facebook Friday. If you have never joined me before, welcome and welcome to all of my regulars. I'm so glad to see you guys. Um, I always pick one product and we make three projects with it. And then if you would like these projects uh, for free, I will send them to you in the mail with an online order uh, by Monday at midnight. And the minimum for that order is $35. But right now, you guys, it's celebration. So I would hope you would bump your order to 50 so that you will get free uh, celebration products. There's stamp sets, there's paper, um, they're, they're, and they're all super cute. Okay. So, but don't, the minimum order right now to get the free make and takes today's make and takes is $35. Please make sure to use that host code. Unless your order is over $150, you do not need to use the host code. You're going to get, um, free stuff as well on top of your celebration things, but, and I'll still send you the make and takes. Um, this is what they look like. They come in the mail. Um, you will need this week. You will need the rainbow of happiness stamp set and dies to make your projects. I won't die cut anything else that you need, but you will need these dies. I won't cut these things out for you. And of course you'll need the stamps. I don't send stamped images. What you see there is just a thank you tag. All right, and we're back to sharing. If you would like to win this brand new Eden's Garden, please share on Facebook or YouTube, and I will put you in the drawing next week, and somebody will win this new bundle. All right, we have arrived. How long did that take? Okay, good, only 20 minutes. Um, the PDF, has anybody checked? Hopefully it's up. Um, we've been getting up at 5 a.m. every day for basketball practice. And so I, this morning, was working very early on the PDF and the blog post. So hopefully <laughs> everything is there in my bleary-eyed, half-awake. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let me move all this 
So I have more room than just a tiny square. So I see some of you saying it's very cold where you are. And I have been seeing that on the news. We're cold today here. What is What does it say? Right now it's 43. I don't think it's getting out of the 40s here today, which is pretty much Arctic weather for us. <laughs> and I love it. It's nice. It's a nice change because on Christmas Day and New Year's Day, we were at the lake in the boat. It was that hot. And I don't like hot on Christmas Day. I don't really like hot in the summer either. But, you know, I live in South Texas. So what are you going to do? But hot on Christmas Day is just disgusting. Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> um, you guys are funny. All right. Now, let's get started. This stamp set is the cutest. I love it. I know I've said that like five times, but I truly, truly, truly love it. And I'm wondering, do you guys love it as much as I do? I just, it's so stinking cute. I can't stop using it. The first thing we're going to do is make this card with the rainbow. And I'm going to show you how to make that cloud background. We're going to use the cloud border die that is from the basic border dies. Um, you know, I seeing the praises of the basic border dies all the time. Um, so you guys may already have them because I have told you you have to have them. <laughs> They're really good. But I feel like if you, um, if you're going to have the rainbow of happiness stamp set, you really need to have the the cloud border dies as well because they're so good. I mean, clouds, they go with the rainbows, right? Um, okay, you know what? Before I start too, I want to talk to you about this paper. I am madly in love with this paper. It's bright. It's all my favorite colors. It's so cute. We've got clouds that coordinate with a cloud punch also. We've got rainbow paper and bright, fun colors. Um... I have gone through several packs of this. I've used it for some swaps, some all kinds of things. The colors in here, there's a lot of really good colors. Some are more subtle, like you can see that, and then some are more bright. Um, if you're ever unsure of what color is on your paper, look on the back of your paper pack. It tells you right here. You may have to get your glasses. <laughs> it's very small, but it tells you what colors are in the paper. So like, okay, it says magenta madness. Well, then I know that I pull my Magenta Madness ink pad out and it's going to match perfectly. Um, that's the beauty of the Stampin' Up! products is that the colors, you know, if you have Magenta Madness ink, if you have the cardstock, the ribbon, um, the designer series paper, they all coordinate perfectly, which really is the beauty of our paper. So anyways, I just wanted to tell you that there's a lot of colors in here. So don't be intimidated. You can look on the back of your, your, car, um, your paper pack or you can look in the catalog. Although I find that in the catalog, it doesn't always list all of them for some reason. It'll list like five or six of the main ones. But, and then I'm like, well, what's this color? So I find that the, the card stock on the back of the package is more reliable for all the colors. All right, we're gonna start with Magenta Madness. I have put down a foam mat because this is a photopolymer stamp set, and I tend to have trouble on this table with larger photopolymer stamps. I need a foam, kind of a soft, squishy surface underneath. So if you ever have problems with your photopolymer, your clear stamps, doing that, um, get, you can do, you know, your a piercing mat, the mat from your Stamparatus, um, fun foam, you know, fun foam's like a quarter. Well, now it's probably 50 cents. <laughs> because of everything's so expensive. Um, but you know, from the craft store, I think even like, well, I don't know, does Walmart carry that kind of stuff anymore? They used to have a big craft section at Walmart, not really anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna go with um, Mango Melody, which is, I will use Mango Melody every chance I get. I love Mango Melody. It's like a cross between orange and yellow, bright orange and bright yellow. I love it. Um, now, I'm going to use crumb cake, which seems like an odd choice, right? But we're going to put gold on top of the crumb cake, and it's going to make it look gold. Um, so the next one is crumb cake. And I want you to notice that my rainbow already is not perfect, right? Right there? It's not perfect. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. These are to look, these are supposed to look hand-drawn. They are not perfectly symmetrical either. And depending on how you put it on your block even, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. So 
don't stress about it. It's totally fine. It kind of looks like it was drawn with some markers and that's how it's supposed to look. If you want it to be perfect or more perfect than it is, use your Stamparatus. Stamparatus, of course, will help you um, get those on there straight. Okay, now we're gonna emboss. This stamp set has two. Charlie, what's your deal? He's like in and out, in and out. Um, we have two stamps in here that are not just the arches, but you know, there's a texture and that's the one we're gonna use right there, the stripes, but there's also the words right there that you can stamp as well. We'll use that on the next project. Um, I'm gonna use an embossing buddy on here. I know we don't have these anymore, but I want to make sure that that embossing powder doesn't stick to there. You can use a dryer sheet. You can use, somebody told us on here one time, a baby sock filled with cornstarch, I believe. And that will remove that, you know, clingy, um, you know, if the, the powder clings to the wrong places. All right, so you guys are telling me the PDF isn't working? All right, I will fix it. I think I know what I did. It was 5.08 a.m. <laughs> no, it was probably a little bit later than that. It was 5.48 a.m. I will fix it. Now, we're going to put gold. I know you can't see what I just stamped. That's all right. You'll see it in a minute. Charlie, what's the deal? Why are you going back and forth? He's such a weird dog. The older he gets, the more neurotic he gets. The yard guy was supposed to come today. The guy that treats the yard, you know, like for bugs and all that. Um, he was supposed to come today and he hasn't come. So I'm sure he will come during Facebook Live. That may be what Charlie's deal is. I closed all the blinds so he couldn't see what's going on. I don't think he has recovered yet from um, <laughs> for the, I mean, uh, New, Year's, New Year's Eve. He hates fireworks and just becomes a hot mess. Static, thank you, yes. Baby powder also, Stacy. yes. All right, so I use a paintbrush to brush off any of those extra little crumbs from the embossing powder. I'm gonna use my heat tool and it's gonna make that gold shiny and it's gonna look not brown anymore. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. And there you have it. You guys see that? I love it. Mm, so pretty. All right. Now there's a die in this set that will that looks like it's going to cut this rainbow out, right? But it doesn't. It actually, we're going to use it in a little while. So I'll tell you more about it then. But this, you're going to have to fussy cut. Um, I, I kind of almost feel like maybe there isn't a die because... I think your rainbows are not gonna always be exactly the same depending on how you stamp them. I think maybe that's why there's not a die in there. You know, because they, they're, sometimes one might be squished over a little bit more or uneven on one end, but you can just cut them out with your scissors or your paper snips. I know paper snips are unorderable right now. <laughs> Every time I say paper snips, somebody gets mad. I can't order them right now. They're so popular. They're not gonna be available probably until February. Uh, I know. All right, now let's make our card background, okay? Charlie, what is your deal? Can you guys hear his little nails click, 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 click on my floor? He's usually not in here either. It's usually Pepper who's bugging me. All right, we've got a... Um, Hard base. This is our Whisper White Thick. I have cut it at five and a half, scored it at four and a fourth, and I'm going to put it down on my grid paper. And I'm going to use this post it tape, which I did put a link. I remembered to put a link to that today. All right, post it tape. And I took a piece of um, cardstock from one of my scrap drawers. Doesn't matter what color it is, okay? And I cut it with the um, cloud border die. Now, remember, I have two sets of these. And I'll tell you why when we get to that. Oh, no, that's that's Monday's video. I have, I'll tell you today. I have two of two sets of these. So that when I cut, I mean, okay, you only need one, right? You cut it like that. Then you run it back through and you cut it like that. If you're making, you know, like a strip. But I'm lazy. <laughs> and I just want to do it 
once. So I bought two sets so I could do things like that. Um, with the little rickrack dies, it's really good too. You can tape them together. If you're cutting a bunch, you can put some tape on them and run them through real fast and you'll get a whole bunch of little rickracks. I know it's a little bit gluttonous, I think, to have two sets, but I don't care. All right, now we're going to use Pool Party, if I can find my Pool Party. And again, I chose Pool Party because that's one of the colors in our designer series paper. And I'm going to take my little border template that I have made, and I'm just going to go across. And I think my um, Pool Party ink pad is kind of low on ink. I have used it a lot lately, so things aren't real dark right now but that's okay, I don't want it to be dark. I did a sky earlier in the week for the tulip class and it looked like, I did it just like this and I was like, oh gosh, it looks like it's gonna rain. It was too dark. So go light, unless you want stormy skies. So I'm just taking this and I'm, just, I'm kind of alternating it as I go down so that all my clouds aren't the same. Okay. And you're just gonna build that background like that. And then that's probably far enough, but we'll go, we'll do a little bit more. And you can do as much, you know, you can even like turn it like that and do the backside. And I always try to start over on the edge on my grid paper so that I don't have any hard, you know, sometimes when you set your, your um, blending brush down the first, it leaves like a hard mark. So if you do it over here in your grid paper and move over, then it's not gonna leave that. Okay. That's a nice, pretty sky. It doesn't look like it's gonna storm. Let's take this off. Hi, Belinda, it's good to see you. I was just thinking about you today, that's so funny. Hope things, I hope you're surviving. She's a teacher, we used to teach together. Okay, at this point I need adhesive and it's not here, so let's see if it's in this drawer. Here it is right here. I have two strips. Oh, we need to cut this. Well, we'll do this and then we'll cut that. I have two strips of this adorable um, rainbows and sunshine, sunshine and rainbows designer series paper. This is free with a $50 purchase. Um, before I do that, I don't want to put that down. Let's cut this out. And look, I'm using the baby today. We only need the baby. The mini cut and emboss machine. It's just so tiny and cute. All right, I've got a strip of white, it's about two inches. And I'm gonna run it through here with that cloud. I was talking about it, talking about it, and then I never used it. I used it, well, I used it to make the mask, but. Um, and it's stitched because stitched cloud or clouds are cuter than non-stitched clouds, in my opinion. I love any dye that has stitching on it. All right, now I'm gonna take this and slide it down just a little bit behind there, like that. And it's too long, so let's snip it off. Better too long than too short, right? Yes, Cynthia, I agree. That that basic border die set gets a ton of use in my office. I use it all the time. And this striped rainbow paper is the best. So cute. All right, now we're going to take... Charlie, you're concerning me with your back and forth, buddy. What is the problem? Are you like Lassie trying to tell me something? Back and forth, back and forth. Um, we're going to use the, these little cloud dies to cut some clouds. It comes with four clouds, so you can, in one swipe, get all four done. Just don't be like me. Make sure you put them all back where they go, because they're tiny, and you will lose them. All right, there we go. And now we'll get our rainbow, and we'll have dimensional. Yes. So Pepper, I haven't given you guys any Pepper stories lately. And I know some of you don't want to hear stories about my dog, but you're going to hear them anyway. I'm sorry. Pepper is my puppy. Well, she's about two. She's, she's two this month, but she's a little brat. 
she acts like a little teenager. I could hear her in the other room um, yesterday or day before yesterday, and she was doing her little, oh, oh, like that. And that's what she does when she wants to go upstairs because we block off the stairs when the girls are still asleep or we just don't want her up there. And I thought, you know, okay, Pepper, you can't go up there, whatever. I'm ignoring it. She keeps doing it and doing it. So I go to see what she's doing, and she's standing on the coffee table in the middle of the living room. And she can't get down <laughs> because it's, I guess she could get up, but she couldn't get down because it was slick. And she was looking at me and she was so proud. She was like, look at where I'm at. I am, but I kind of need some help. I can't get down. <sighs> that dog. I thought it was funny. I should have taken a picture, but then she would think, oh, I can do this all the time. I really think she doesn't understand the difference between furniture that you can sit on and furniture that is a table. She um, frequently tries to walk across, you know, like the end table from the sofa to the chair. I mean, I guess why would she not understand, you know, to her? It's all, it's all the same. All right, I have put those little mini, tiny little clouds on there with mini dimensionals. The, the last thing we're going to put on here, actually the second to last thing we're going to put on here is the sentiment. It says, you make me happy. And it is on a stitched rectangle, a basic white stitched rectangle. And we're going to put that right down here. Now, we have these embellishments that are absolutely perfect for this. These are the silver and clear epoxy drops. And they come in raindrop form. So, I mean, hello. Perfect. And, I mean, maybe you should do a, a stormy sky, right? Maybe one side should be stormy and one side should not be stormy because when I was in kindergarten, Belinda knows too, we would teach rainbows and the things that you need for a rainbow are um, sunshine and rain. So maybe we should do a dark. Why are these not being picked up today? I think I need to replace my putty. Here he comes again. How many times does he come in here? Like eight. No more than that, like 18. All right, there we go. Pretty simple. No bow, I know. You probably are shocked. I think it's really cute. You make me happy. That would be a great teacher card. Always thinking about those teachers, especially right now. All right, so we're done. Card number one is done. I hope you guys like that project. That's one of the first, I think that may be the very first thing I made with that stamp set when I first got it. Okay, next, we're making, the next two things are things that I make every year. Every year. And of course, we have to make a calendar, a desktop calendar. If you haven't seen my desktop calendars before, um, just search, here he comes again, jeez, search my blog um, for calendars, and you will see, for years now, I've been making these. Um, I used to make them and send them out to everybody who had ordered from me, and now I just can't keep up with that. So we're going to do it today, and if you put in an order and I send you the make and takes for free, you are going to get the little calendar. I'm going to send you that calendar for your your little project. These are from tailoredexpressions.com. Um, you can get these little calendars in a lot of places. Etsy also has them. Um, but I really like tailored expressions because they're all white. So then you can use it. There's not going to be any conflicting colors. One time I bought them and they had some red on them and it just made everything look off. So I like tailored expressions. I buy them from them every year. And you can see that I use two different patterns of paper. Um, any of the patterns in this pack will work for this, any of them. Um, and I mean, maybe you stamp your rainbow in a different color scheme to match the paper, depending on what's on the paper um, or not. I mean, they're, they're all gonna coordinate. Okay, well, let's make this rainbow. I need to clean my stamps because we're gonna use the same stamps. You know, all I can think about today is soup. Do you guys do that when it's cold? I want soup. And my mom brought me some broccoli cheddar soup yesterday and I just had that for lunch, it was so good. But now I'm thinking about dinner and I want soup for dinner too. 
Do I have any other people out there who love soup? I love soup. And here, when it's hot, we don't eat it very often. <sighs> I want tortilla soup. That's what I want. Okay. <laughs> random, random thoughts by Erica. All right, we're going to do our top level of the rainbow. You know, when I first started playing with this, I felt like the rainbow needed to be in color order because there is a specific rainbow order. But then I just kind of went rogue. And you'll see even in the next project, it doesn't have normal rainbow colors. So don't feel like pegged in that you have to do, you know, the perfect rainbow order. This is a flirty flamingo. Don't you just love flirty flamingo? It's such a happy color. And again, we're gonna bring mango melody. Um, this time we're going to stamp, oh my gosh, why is that block so dirty? We're gonna stamp that second row in mango melody, but we're gonna stamp off first and then I'm gonna stamp the words. I cleaned all of these blocks yesterday and they look disgusting. I'm not sure what happened. Actually, I think I do know what happened. If you, if you stamp in white craft ink and then you clean your, um, sh your stamp on your chamois, then it gets kind of cloudy. And I think that's what the problem is. I think I need to wash my chamois again because that white ink just kind of creates a film around everything. Oh, I can hear the dog just trying to get out. Oh, well. All right. Now I'm just going to have to wait. Um, Mango Melody. We're going to stamp off and we're going to stamp that right there. And it's in a lighter color. Um, by the way, I have clean recordings of these. So when you, if you want to come back and make these, you don't have to watch, you don't have to listen to my dog stories. You can just go to the clean recording, watch whichever project you want. And it's, they're all like less than 10 minutes this week. Yesterday, when I was making this one, I said, all right, we're gonna stamp off in Mango Melody and I inked it and then I just stamped it right on there. <laughs> do you guys do that? Like my brain, where was it? I was saying what I was gonna do and then I didn't do it. Ugh, old age, getting old. All right, what's my next color? Where's my sample? Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, isn't that what I said? It doesn't matter what color we do next. Let's do, you know, I don't really like the So Saffron next to the Mango Melody. So let's do Pool Party next. Let's do Pool Party right here. Hey, Matt, come here, buddy. Come here, you have to wait. Mommy's working. You can't go outside right now. Okay. There we go, Pool Party. Now we'll do So Saffron like that. They're gonna leave me a lovely little surprise probably by the back door when we're done. <laughs> he says, oh, I can't go outside? Well, I'll show you, lady. All right, so now, where is my card? We're gonna, this, these calendars will fit in a regular envelope. You can mail them. Now, you probably need to put a non-machinable, um, non-machinable, what am I saying, stamp there on it, um, but you can mail them. I used to mail them all the time in an envelope. So you can do that. I'm so distracted by the dogs today. <sighs> I should have put them away. All right, I'm gonna cut this out. They have a kennel that they go in, but I always feel guilty putting them in there. Oh, now they're gonna start crying. Sorry, guys. The bug man's coming. You can't go out there. You have to wait. Maybe that's why Charlie's coming in and out, huh? He's like, hello. Okay, here's the best part of all of this. Oh, well, I wouldn't say the best part, but one of the best parts of all of this. This paper right here, the punch punches out the clouds. So if you buy the bundle and the punch, then you are at that $50 threshold and you can get the paper for free. Yay. As Belinda taught me, if it's free, it's for me. That's what she used to say. If it's free, it's for me. <laughs> All right, let's put our little rainbow there. This is a stitched scallop rectangle. You guys, I think I'm gonna have to go let them out. 
No, I'm not going to. Because what if the bug guy shows up? Then that. Why does my 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 flirty flamingo ink looks weird right now? Maybe it's these lights. Stitch scallop contour. It's um basic white from the contour scallop dies. And then I'm just gonna take my calendar and I'm gonna put it kind of offset like that. I want it off to the right so that you can see more of that scallop. Now we have these super cute new embellishments. Look at them. They're butterflies. They're brushed metallic butterflies. So we're gonna add a couple of those. I love these like that. Okay, now you could leave it just like that, but I don't know about you guys, but my cards do this. When I put them on the counter for a while, they do this, right? So we need to make an easel for it. On that PDF that I will fix as soon as we're done, there are measurements for this. And let me get my Simply Scored. All it is is a four by five and a half inch piece of basic white cardstock. And we're gonna score it at half, two and three fourths, and five. Now the reason it's not four and a fourth wide, like the card, is because I found that sometimes if I got sloppy or I was trying to go too fast, it would stick out beyond the edge of the card. So I thought, well, let's just make it smaller. And every time I'll just put it kind of in, you know, in the center like that. You wanna fold it accordion like that, put adhesive on those two short tabs, and then there you have it. See, now it's an easel. And you can write, Happy New Year, love your name, and then put it in the mail. I love making these calendars. I have shared two already this year. I've got two more, I think, to show you next week. Um, it's never too late to make calendars. Even if it's not January, you could still make calendars, I think. All right, there you go. Now remember, all of those papers will work. You don't have to use the same patterns as me. Any of the papers will work. All right, we've got one more project. And this project, we've made, we've made this project many times as well. All right. It is a hand sanitizer holder. And look at the hand sanitizer. Look how cute. Bath and Body Works, they have several versions of this. They didn't have it online. So, um, but I just, just like last week or maybe the week before I was in there, it was after Christmas and they had a bunch. So they have a whole like rainbow line. So you can get them different colors. Um, but see, I'm going to use these non-traditional rainbow colors. And right now, once again, it's a good time to hand out hand sanitizer. <laughs> Here we are again. <sighs> um, the colors that I'm using are Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, Just Jade, and So Saffron. All right, those are the colors I'm gonna use in my rainbow. All right, so actually do I have two? Yep, I do. I'm gonna have my circle. All right, let's make, let's make the rainbow first. Um, so, you know that die that I showed you a minute ago that said it looked like it cuts out the rainbow that you stamp, but it doesn't. Um, this rainbow die will, in fact, there's a, there's a paper in here. It will cut these, this out, but it's going to cut them all out individually. Okay. It's not going to just cut the outline. Um, so you can use it for that, but you can also use it to do what we're going to do and create your own rainbow. So I'm gonna just put it on, run it through white first, and then you would run it through those four colors. And the funny thing is, is when you run it through those four colors, then you have one, two, three, four of each color. So you can actually make four rainbows from one swoop of your die. And I have already done that, and I'm looking at my little tray here. It looks like I'm missing a color. So let's see. I am missing. Look what I'm missing all kinds of things, aren't I? I'm going to have to run it through there. I was so prepared. What happened? What color am I missing? All right, we're going to need. Well, see, those are the same. So we're going to need this and this. Darn it. That's weird. I was so prepared ahead of time. <sighs> oh, well. 
All right, good thing I had the cardstock out to show you. And you're, if you cut, if you cut them out and you have the four pieces for each color, then you just kind of, it's kind of like a puzzle. You, you're gonna piece them together and they'll all be, they'll all have to be in different color order. Um, because, you know, you'll have small, medium, large in each color. Hey, 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 what are you doing? That's not for you. She's like, what are these uh, Swedish fish over here, mommy? They're not for dogs. Do you need to go outside? Is that your problem? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. If it's not kids, it's the dogs. If it's not the dogs, it's the husband. Ugh, somebody's always needing something. <laughs> all right, so we have all of these cut out. This is what I had done ahead of time. Pretend like, boop, okay, there, look, I had, I did it ahead of time. Now you're gonna take this one that you, um, cut out from the white and we're gonna adhere it to another piece of white okay like that and then you're gonna get your your glue your Tombow and do a very very light little line inside each section very light because you don't want it to squish out and you guys know I always put too much glue every time, every time. You know, Joan, I have some cute little bowls that I use when I'm cutting for classes and stuff. Why don't I just use those for this? I don't know. Common sense sometimes isn't my strength. <laughs> All right, let's see. So um, we'll use the big yellow big this is so saffron and we're going to put that in there i'm using the um the putty end of my take your pick tool i don't think i put this on the supply list today the put the take your pick tool is so bright all right um i want to make sure that i have all the right okay all the right pieces left and we'll put um Misty Moonlight next. Okay, and then Pool Party. This also kind of prevents you from getting your hands sticky. And last but not least, Just Jade. Oh, I love Just Jade. It's one of our in colors that's leaving, isn't it? Ugh, we have in colors leaving us in the end of April. All right, we're gonna let that dry, see? And then you would have all these extra pieces left over to make more rainbows, but this is my last one. Now, you're gonna have this piece of cardstock that measures three and three fourths by four and three fourths. On the long side, you're gonna score it at one and two. On the short side, you're gonna score it at one and two and three fourths. All of that is on the PDF. Yes, I know. You can't get to the PDF right now, but I will get it for you as soon as I let the dogs out. <laughs> and then after that, I will fix it. All right, here I have a little piece of designer series paper and I cut it wrong. I noticed yesterday I should have fixed it. Let's see, can I cut a straight line like this? You need to be a little bit smaller to fit right in there. And then take your scissors, your paper snips, and cut here, snip, snip. Snip, snip. I'm cutting the corners off of those middle tabs. And we'll put adhesive on the outside of the middle tabs, fold those up into the back sides like that this is one of the easiest fun little gifts you can make it's not sugar it's not candy and they they used to be you could get them five for five right but i bought them recently um around christmas and they were ringing up two dollars each and then she said well they're five for eight if you get five and i was like oh my gosh everything is getting more expensive all right, so you see how I wrapped that around the back? But still, you know, um, 
inexpensive. All right, now take your scissors and cut from that corner to that corner and then do it again over here. All right, like that. Then your hand sanitizer fits perfectly in there. One thing I like to do because it's gonna, it might like fall out is get a dimensional, stick it down there in the bottom like that and press it down in there. It's gonna hold on to it a little bit better, but again, you can just pull it out. You know, it's just, it's not like permanent adhesive. That way it won't be all falling out before you give it to the recipient. Okay, now grab your Wink of Stella before you cut this out and make it sparkly because why not? It needs sparkle. And then take your scissors and go all the way around. If you're nervous about your cutting, get a pencil and draw the line first. Like that. All right, and then we're gonna take and we're gonna put this rainbow. I kinda like the saffron on the top. We're gonna put that, because I chose those colors because that's basically what those are, greens and blues. I'm gonna put it kind of offset to the left side. We're gonna punch out another cloud with the punch that I put over here. The dogs have stopped scratching at the door. That's a bad sign. That is a very bad sign. <laughs> we have a doggy door, but I closed it. And they're just annoyed that they don't have freedom now. All right, a little cloud like that. And then I have a little circle. It's a one and a fourth inch circle. And we'll stamp the sentiment in Misty Moonlight a little something to brighten your day. There you go. A little something to keep the germs away. And then we've got the pool part. Seriously, are these the ones that I was looking for? They are. You guys are probably telling me, they're right there. Hello? They're right there. That happens every time. That happens every stinking time. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. I say that all the time because truly, 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 it is the truth. I forgot to put this on. The words. I have, I can't read the comments for very long while I'm working because I will get so distracted and we will be here all day. So you guys are probably yelling at me. And I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Look at my desk. It's a mess. Blue dots rolling across. I'm going to put that right there in the back of the back corner. You could put it on the front of the hand sanitizer. You could even put it down on the boat, on the um, cloud. But there you go. See how easy that was? Those would make little party favors, cute little party favors. Friend gifts, teacher gifts. I know, being a dead horse, but the teachers need treats. They need treats. My sweet little middle schooler came home yesterday and said, whoops, her coach's grandma died. And so she wanted to bring her coach flowers. And I was like, that's really sweet. <sighs> they can have glimmers of sweetness still sometimes. All right, you guys, we made it. Hopefully I don't have a giant mess waiting for me when we're done. Um, Monday, I have another project for you that I will show you. I have a video. I'll post it on Monday. I'll show you how to put some patterns on those um, uh, rainbows from the DSP. Remember this, in the, there's that, that um, cloud die again that I used to them at one time. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, remember, the DSP is free with a $50 order. The make and takes, these three. I will send them to you for free next week if you put in an order by Monday at midnight. Um, and here's the PDF. This is what it looks like. Everything that we talked about is on here, all the links and everything that you need. Um, and I know I will go fix it as soon as we're done, okay? Make sure you get those orders in no later than Monday at midnight. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm, eat some soup, 
and I will be back on Friday next week. We're going to do the, um, the otter. Awesome otter. I wanted to call it a groundhog. <laughs> it's an otter. All right. I will see you guys then. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.